All right, guys, today we're going to be looking at the old alignment of the NEC in Elkton. Right there, you can see that's where the new part is. We walked down this trail, we didn't cross the tracks or anything. We walked down beside them, and then this is the old bridge that used to take it in through Elkton. This is the original alignment. I'll put some more information on the screen as we go through this. And uh, you can still see the embankment is actually all still here. We're going to walk around, see what else we can find, and get some pictures. You can see it's all like swampy down here, and then there's just embankment. So we roll down there, we walk down and walk up because there wasn't a clear way through here. You can clearly see exactly where the track was. And then he sees right there. It's weird, it looks like a track went to the left and went up back onto the NEC and one well, kept going straight right here. That could just be from how everything started laying down over the years. But this follows more of the map that I've seen. Now I'll put up on screen now. Alright, there's the NEC real clearly. We've walked up quite a bit now. There's a little tunnel for a creek and we're thinking there's one here. So we're going to walk down and find out. We've came down the hill, you can clearly see the embankment with the new NEC power lines there. And if we walk over here, you can see the old tunnel. Right there. Okay, you know, we shuffled across that log because we want the perfect shot. And here it is. I'll zoom in on it. I can read that grant. <laughs> I, we don't need to go through all of that. That's amazing that that's still here. And that, that one's in really good condition compared to the abutments we've seen. We need a Up canoe. We need a canoe. Yes, we do. There we go. We're going to canoe through it one day. <laughs> Subscribe to see that in the future. So we just came uphill. I went, I got a picture by the edge, of course. And we're back up on the old right away. And you can see it's a nice, pretty main line. Right there. We're going to keep walking that way and see if we can figure out where this ties in exactly at. So down there, you can barely see it because of how long this stretch is. It's straight and then it makes a slight curve right here. And you can see this way better. It curves kind of past Elkton now. Well, it used to go straight down here. Hills or abutments are back there and the track is from right up to here. You go right down there. We're going to go see where you can really see it in a minute. That way is where we came from with the abutments for the bridge. I'll leave in the NEC. This is going into Elkton, and this, as you can see, is a clear old right away, and it curved a little bit up there, which we will go look at in a moment. Now we are on the other side, we were down there, the tracks came up here and kept going over into Elkton. So we came from that way, that we're on the other side of Elkton now, the police station's way up that road, that's where we're at. And if you look down here, this is exactly where the old... Look 
You can see a piece of track right there, which is way more clear up here. It's right there, and then you come up here, you can see a track here and a track there. That goes back behind this building, which we'll be going back there soon too. And a spool went off to the Eastern Hardware place. Up there. So you can barely see the old building we were at back there. Them tracks have gone straight. There was another one closer to this that went to the other side of this building. I didn't show that because there wasn't really much to that one. But this was the spool that came off here, went across the road, and you can kind of see where it went straight and then turned back to the American Home and Hardware back there. You can actually kind of see it though from this side. If you look, it's real flat on the inside of the tree and you can see how it's slightly torn back there. So it used to come across right here. On the other side of Elkton, we are on the south end. That's looking towards Baltimore. And this is actually where the old right away was. This bumper, you can see the alignment kept going right here and it kind of funnels back in. So the tracks used to split up here and go straight underneath the 40, straight into town. We're going to walk up that way. There's actually a lot of the old tracks still up there. And uh, we'll show you what's still left. the switch to take you up onto the main line if you keep following to the white right, that's the old main if you go to the left that's a new main the track was back then much closer to where the poles are now it was probably right along the poles uh, and kind of tone in and then split it up into three or four different tracks up here I forget the correct number I will put the map up as we are walking along this but this is now an electric switch without a derailable because there's two switches here to protect the main. So they use this for all the wolf vehicles. When they bring them to Elton to do track work, they'll pull them in here, park them down here and underneath the bridge up there. So we are following the old main right now. And if you look off to our right, you can see two tracks they're both stubbed back and they're dead ends they used to be for the businesses and stuff that were getting railroad service at the time now well, you can see two tracks come out there's a switch right here and then it switches up into the main line up here and it becomes a gate now they don't use these tracks anymore i'm going to make that very clear and we're all going to walk around you can actually find more of the old tracks and stuff up a little bit farther after you go around this one uh, business right here. So you can see those tracks right here, but they have just destroyed it by pushing it around and all. And uh, the tracks would have been right here. As you can see right there, I'll even zoom in a little bit if I have to. It's where the tracks are. And we'll pale parallel with them we're going to walk down and uh there should be more switches and stuff down here that we this find. is where the track comes out of the car place right by that pole right here there that's where we walk so we walked our way up this is the main that we're standing on this goes straight and this will go to where i showed you guys earlier in the parking lots and stuff up there and then this secondary track the branches all that used to be the track that went away from everything else and go to the freight depots. So if we walk uphill and continue walking, that track will move out to the side and I believe that track branches off into a couple of different tracks. Uh, there was four tracks mainly in Elkton with a couple of branches of businesses and stuff. This is the main again, and there was a branch track that used to be along here for this business back in the day. So as I go up, I'll point out some more stuff to you guys. So this is 
the little branch off of that building. And you can see it switches to get a little appeal. And then if we walk over here in a minute, there is another switch right here. So one of these went and stayed closer to the tracks, the other one went off to I think another business. So you guys can see the end of the track right there. One of them used to go straight and there used to be a switch right here. You can see the woods, you can see better if I come over here. The tree line right there, that's where the track used to go straight. And this tree line over here that curves off, that is the branch line over to American Home and Hardware that I showed you guys earlier that ran through the parking lot. So we are now pushing close to the Elkton and uh, there's a bunch of beams and stuff there. The railroad's over in there and there's another line over in there from it. But we're going to keep pushing through and showing you guys cool stuff we find over the right away was. So as you can see over there is for the depot track I don't know what to call it. There's the end of that track and right over here is the end of one of the siding tracks and the main was up over here right where that track ends that's where we roll it came through and kept going straight and like I said before the one torn to the white right here I don't think there's anything left of that but we're going to find out and right there is the track that was one of the station tracks but not the main line so the clip that we will behind the fence looking this way that's where the track ends that where we will park over in here so, so I will show you guys that real fast and the main line we walk out here goes approximately right here because it's yeah it's right to the left of these poles I forget what these poles were used for but you can see a little gate down there right there and that's where the tracks used to go across the road and parking lot behind that building is where we roll the yellow deck 